got that article in front of you. I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to let you go. Read that article. Yeah, the article is um, Fox guarding the hen house ex-Goldman Sachs exec to oversee bailout. Now that Hank Paulson, the U.S. Treasury, and the Federal Reserve have robbed American taxpayers of a sum likely to run into the trillions, the coup de grace has arrived in the form of ex-Goldman Sachs executive Neil Cash Carey, who has been appointed by Paulson to dole out the ill-gotten gains of the bailout to the rest of the corporate crooks. Conflict of interest doesn't even come close. The fox guarding the hen house is a more accurate summation, and the fact that he looks like a cross between Nosferatu and a villain from a Steven Seagal movie doesn't help. And we got his picture up on the article. Many people agree. Cash Carey, a former Paulson advisor to boot, has been appointed bailout czar in a move so repugnantly crony that it almost makes the Michael Brown debacle look innocent in comparison. The fact that Paulson himself was head of Goldman Sachs before joining the Bush Hunter in 2006 was not enough for these people. They had to put a banker in charge of bailing out other bankers who can now soundly sleep knowing that their multi-million dollar bonuses are in safe hands while the real economy goes down the toilet. However, such a brazenly corrupt appointment is even waking up Kool-Aid drinking neocons and making them understand the bailout exactly for what it is, a monumental looting of the American people and the crowning of a new fiscal dictatorship run by the Federal Reserve and the private banks. And that's the article. That Paul, you need to take minute. all the stories we've written and posted in the last five, six years on this and do a big flashback section. Yeah, we've been on it for years, and now it's unfolding. And uh, I think people are finally starting to give us a little bit more credit than they might have done before. Well, it's all I can do to sit here and watch it unfold, Paul. It's tearing my guts out. It is absolutely tearing my guts out. Because this means they're going for broke. I mean, we already knew that, but to see it happen, to know something's going to happen, but to see it happens another. And to know they're going to bring this thing down over the next few years till there's rioting in the streets, and then they'll set the precedent with the troops quelling it, and then, oh, see, the precedent's set, the troops keep you safe, and then the yuppies will go along with that, and then the secret arrest will settle in, and the uh, spies on the street corners, and everything they're openly setting up, just God help us. God help us. I, 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 it's just so, and that's why they don't care. That's why it's so funny to them, and they, and they are just going to devalue our currency. It's going to destroy all. None of you are going to get to retire. And they're out hoaxing that, well, the American people, you know, they got into debt too much. No, the globalists set up an economy where it was impossible for the average person to not be in debt and told you it was normal and it was good to do and told you globalism and NAFTA and GATT were good. They set all this up. They took over the farms and ranches. They deindustrialized us. They paid tax incentives to leave the country. They brag. They've done it all. They practiced mercantilism like the British Empire did here 250 years ago that led to the revolution. This is an economic warfare of Imperium. Closing comments, Watson. Well, the, the one question that hangs over it all with the agenda becoming so blatant as it bubbles to the surface because... That's the only way they can finally push it through, is to have that revelation of the method. Will Americans who are waking up to all this be put to sleep again for four or eight years with the uh, Obama sleeping gas method where, you know, apparently we get change and he sweeps to power promising change and people go back to sleep for four years while they consolidate everything and then they start the agenda again? That's the question. But it seems as if, no, they're just going to go for broke and do it all as soon as possible anyway. Well, either way, you got the old good old boy overseeing the takeover, or even better, the blackface running martial law while the troops machine gun inner city people. You know, well, he had to do it. I mean, it's just totally disgusting. Right out of central casting. Well, exactly, um, but I think the neoliberal method of getting things done is always... It takes a, it takes longer to get done, but it's always more successful in the long term. So it remains to be seen if they go down that method, go down that route. Absolutely. Well, Paul Watson, uh, create that giant section of see we told you so. You know, uh, we need to have a major mobilization of the listeners to get the message out that this was engineered by design and explain it to people. It's very simple, and the people need to know. And they need to understand the bailout is a banker martial law takeover. And still, no one is reporting what was on C-SPAN, that the Congress was told martial law. That is the biggest news 
I mean, politically, that's bigger than 9-11 for what that really means. That means we're in it now. That's why the government is so criminal. That's why they don't care. They've been given corporate marching orders, and they are implementing it. They are doing it. They are moving forward, come hell or high water. And the police and military and, and government bureaucrats and everybody carrying this out, you are destroying yourselves. I know you were taught you were the elite and it was the state against the people and you were the guardians of the system. This is the death of the system and the birth of something far worse. Just understand that and know that when you are living far below the poverty line as government minions, remember, you did it to yourself. But, you know, the cops are out there even more in Austin, squeezing, writing tickets for the smallest of reasons now, just everywhere raising money for themselves. And, and folks, as the economy gets worse and worse, they're going to squeeze you. And who's going to be punished is those that saved and didn't get into debt. You're going to be squeezed. They're going to seize your assets. The IRS is bulking up to get really vicious and mean. And, 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 and now, those of you that have served the system, you're going to find out what tyranny really is. So get ready for it. Paul Watson, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks, Alex. I've never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. Let's talk about the nature of the New World Order and their plan. You know it is a weaponized governmental system by a group of private families based in Europe and the United States. They have stated they're building a world government where your every move will be regulated and controlled, where fireplaces are banned, where you have uh, bureaucrats in your home every week, a block captain that checks you for carbon crimes. That's all been announced. Now it's being implemented in the U.S., England, and other areas. <clears throat> your carbon taxes will be paid to the local government, state government, federal government, regional government, and directly to the private banks. We told you that years ago from the Club of Rome and U.N. documents. Now it's being publicly proposed. And you can say, well, the people won't go for that. The private banks are just seizing the governments and telling Congress, if you don't like it, you can have martial law. The British government's been caught. That is the criminal element of it, the illegitimate part, spying on every member of parliament, trying to set them up and blackmail them. Again, the unelected part, the criminal part. Uh, it's, they're just completely out of control. It's called tyranny. That happens 99% of the time in history. And somehow they taught the public tyranny couldn't exist in the West which is so childlike. They were able to sell the public on that. So the public went to sleep. They said the media says there's no government corruption. Go to sleep. And then they took over. Oh, the corruption's always only in one party. And now they're setting up their scientific dictatorship. They plan to, in a controlled, consolidated fashion, bring the world economy down, then remonetize the debt through a new world banking system broken up into four major regional currencies, the North American currency, the Central and South American and Caribbean currency, the Asian currency, and, of course, the European Union currency. And you will have sub-derivations, subgroups of all those currencies, but they're all the same numbers, the same stamps, the same tracking system. Just like we all have national ID cards, as I told you, in 1997 in America, destroyed by design. I had the federal documents. I show them. I read them on screen. It still says Texas driver's license, New York driver's license, but it's federalized, a federal number in a federal database. Comprende, adios, freedom, and now they admit that's what it is. Again, I'm no genius. I just read the executive order. Signed in 93 by Herr Clinton and continued by every president. They disagree on rhetoric, but the program is exactly the same. Always getting worse. 